Hey guys, and welcome back. We spend a lot of time talking about watches, talking about watches we want to get, watches we like to look at, but what we don't get into that often is how to save for watches, how do we save for watches, sharing ideas about how to save for watches. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. But before we get into that, we're going to do a couple of Instagram shout outs. First shout out is actually not an Instagram shout out, but it's from Chris in the UK. And this is a shot of his beautiful Montres Une watch that he got with a Swiss Alps granite dial. And he got it just in time for his birthday. So thank you for sharing that in the email, Chris. I appreciate it. The next shot we got here is from Miles Muscle. And it is a beautiful shot of his Seiko Alpinist. Very, very nice. Next up is from Lathy Jones, and it's a shot of his beautiful day date Oris while enjoying a fair, what looks like a very nice cup of coffee. And last but certainly not least is Dalton showing off the beautiful yacht master that was revealed in Basel World. And he's sporting it in Miami, my hometown. Gotta love that. All right, so now let's get into five ways to save for watches. That's coming up right after this. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you guys five ways to save up for watches. Now, these are just ways that I used to save for watches. They're obviously not the only ways to do it, but it's just a way to help. All right, so the first one is eBay, Craigslist, any selling forum. And it's really just purging either watches that you don't wear anymore or something other than watches. I've been able to sell quite a few things on eBay and I set that money aside uh, to put towards the next watch that I want to get and when it's money that you set aside from things that you've sold You tend to get a lot less hassle from your spouse when you spend that money uh, on an expensive watch The second tip that I have on here is working overtime um, I know that one seems kind of crazy, but it's it's certainly plausible and possible and that money that you make that's extra, you can set it aside in a separate savings account. I have a watches savings account, uh, as crazy as that seems, and it's not money that's being taken from either the bills that I need to maintain in the house or the activities that we want to do as a family. It's completely separate. So it's a very, very good compromise. And listen, guys, you don't have to work a lot of overtime. I mean, I'm talking even just an hour a day. That's five extra hours a week. Um, and, and that's going to add up over time. So if you have the opportunity to do that and it's a watch that you want bad enough, uh, that's definitely plausible. All right. The third tip on here is work towards paying off a bill, then shift some, some of the money saved from that into a savings account. Now, what I mean by that is, for example, my wife's car. We paid off her car. That was $600 a month that, that we were paying on her Toyota Highlander. Now, the best thing to do is to roll that into another bill uh, and then pay that one off, typically starting with the highest interest and then working your way down to items that have the least amount of interest. So let's say, for example, the $600 that I saved uh, a month when we paid off her car. Well, my car. I want to start, I want to get my car paid off as well. Well, I can pay $500 extra on my car every month and just put a hundred of that $600 into a watch savings account. But that's not hurting any of the money that we already set aside for bills. And it's a hundred dollars more that I'm able to save that I wasn't able to save before. So if you're able to work towards paying off a bill and then putting some of that money into a savings account and then putting the rest wherever you want to put it, um, that's going to be another less painful way to save for a watch that you're looking at getting. Number four is don't charge it unless you can get it interest free uh, or pay it before you start to pay interest. Now, this is something that I learned along the way when I was really young, you know, when I was 18, early 20s, I really got into a lot of credit card debt and I spent a lot of time trying to get myself out of that. So when it comes to watches, my recommendation is not to charge it. So really try to be patient because every penny extra that you spend is going to take away from the next purchase that you wanted to make. All right. Uh, the last tip that I have on here is cancel a service or perk and put it away for a watch. Um, what I mean by that is really, I mean, especially when you have a family, I mean, it, it's probably less, uh, it was less of an issue for me when I didn't have a family when I was single. Uh, but let's say you have NBA league pass or your NFL ticket uh, or 
you know, whatever it is that you have that you pay for every month that you think is something that you could go without for a little while and then put that money into a savings account for a watch. Um, granted, you know, a lot of these are really small drops in a bucket, but every dollar counts. And a majority of the watches that we want, they're not going away. They're not going to be discontinued anytime soon. Um, so you're going to be able to get them. It's just a matter of saving up the money. Um, if you're single, you probably have a lot less financial responsibility, so there's more flexibility in ways that you can save for a watch. But for those of us out there and those of you out there that have a family, it's very difficult to justify turning around and spending that money on a watch, especially justifying that to your spouse. There's certainly other ways to do it, but those are the five ways that I save for watches. Uh, first, you know, selling things on eBay. Second is working overtime uh, when I can. Third is working towards paying off a bill and then shifting some of that money into a watch savings account and the rest towards another bill. Uh, fourth is not charging anything uh, unless I can get it interest free and really I just I don't charge it at all I'll save up for it and the fifth one is canceling a service or perk that I have uh, that I want less than I want a watch that I'm going for there's tons of viewers in different financial situations that have different perspectives on how to save for watches so if you have ways other than the five that I mentioned to save up for watches please post it in the comments below for everybody else to read and kind of share with everyone else if you're a person that's trying to figure out how to save for watches please take the time to read the comments below there's a lot that we can learn from each other if you guys found this video useful or enjoyed it please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and that's it for this video cg out